Welcome to one of the biggest news weeks in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video, we'll talk about the USA World Update VR and when it will be released and our first news on anything to do with the Xbox release, with some news around the first Xbox Flight Sim controls. And that's just the start of this week's news. So if you want to be updated with the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator news, this video starts now. A big thank you to SoFly Weather Presets Pro for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator update video. This is where we bring you all the news and updates on the development of this new flight sim. There is no need to troll the net for the latest updates. We will do it all for you, so hit that subscribe button for more weekly update videos. World Update 2 of the US is now available a version 1.11.5.0 was released this week on November the 24th. Update 2 has come with a stack of new content which really makes the US, the US come to life. First being the updated elevation maps with a resolution up to 1 meter and in my opinion this has made a big improvement to the land topography of the US. The aerial imaging has been updated as well. This hasn't been included everywhere but is a large improvement nevertheless. Four new handcrafted airports have been included free of charge. First one is Atlanta International, a Friday Harbor, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport and New York Stewart International. Visuals and logical improvements to 48 more airports over the area plus 50 new high fidelity points of interest. Some highlights just to name a few are the Washington Monument, the capital of Washington, Mount Rushmore, Monument Valley, Hoover Dam, Las Vegas Strip at night, the Johnson and Kennedy Space Centers, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii Memorial Site, and the Airport Graveyard in Tucson. All these points of interest have been modeled with very high detail, worth checking out as many as you can. A new bush trip has been added showcasing what Alaska has to offer and a Discovery East Coast USA tour has also been added with amazing new points of interest. So that was a massive content update for this world update of the USA, but they did also include other performance and bug fixes uh, with this one. So some of the highlights are starting off with optimization, uh, optimization of the photogrammic loading, um, offline air traffic aircraft now probably removed at long distances. This was causing performance and degradation over time, especially on long hauls. Uh, general handling of flight model improvements to the autopilot fixes and a general review view of all planes um, made this update so some of the third parties might have found some of the aircraft may not working so we've seen some fixes already um, updating on the airliner side of things we had a little update including the reduce your oscillations of the Airbus A320 Neo further by reducing the yaw we seem to be getting that on every update the Boeing 747 and the A320 both had a fuel consumption fixes a bunch of bug fixes and improvements have been made to the uh, UI. The Honeycomb Bravo and the CH products now have a default presets added. Uh, logbook should now work properly uh, for unfinished flights. Uh, landing challenges target should now be properly display displayed after restarting the activity. Uh, street lights on smaller streets and roads now will display more randomly. All in all, this is a pretty intensive update geared feature to content. Of course, we will leave a link below to the full patch notes. I would love to hear in the comments below, what is your first flight you are planning to do with the new USA update? Moving on to the next world update, which has already been confirmed, which will be England, Wales, and Scotland. We will see improvements to the data, including elevation a range from 50 centimeters to two meters in resolution, alongside with improvements to imaging from the big maps. Work is ongoing to try and include Ireland into the pack, but the situation remains dynamic. 
50 to 60 are points of interest will be included as well as another four handcrafted airports. They are Manchester, Barton, Liverpool Airport, Lands End Airport, and hopefully I say this correctly, Alta Skeris Airport. We should expect to see all this hit our sims on January 28th, 2021. And if we go by the level of detail from the World Updates 2, which was the USA, uh, we are in for a big treat. Moving on to a more exciting news this week, we are still expecting another sim update uh, before the end of the year is out, which should include a, one of the biggest requested features to be added to the new flight sim. VR has been confirmed it will be included in sim update 2, that, and we should see this land on our sims before Christmas, which will be December the 22nd. The Microsoft team have mentioned this week in their monthly Q&A that the feedback from the closed beta environment has been so good they are planning to release a VR update free of charge to everyone and that's for all VR headsets. The VR update will include a menu system as well as provide the most seamless experience possible. This is absolutely great news and I am for one very much looking forward to this one. Moving on to some Xbox news for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which we haven't seen for quite some time now. And no, this is not confirming when the release date will be uh, made for our Microsoft Flight Sim to come to Xbox. Not just yet, anyways. Uh, but we did get a preview on some uh, flight controls. Well-known flight controller manufacturer Honeycomb Aeronautical have announced they are partnering with a Microsoft Flight Simulator on bringing controls to a suit for the new Xbox Series X and S when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Currently they are in the development stage uh, for their latest products which will be the Foxtrot flight stick and the Tango Foxtrot stick and throttles and they also mentioned all the current versions of their current flight controls are only suited for PC they will be also bringing a new version of the Alpha flight controls that will enable the current Bravo throttle and Charlie pedals to work seamlessly as one with the new Xbox X and S no ETA on when these will be available as they mentioned this is still at the development stage. I would expect it to be a while off. This week we were also treated to a brand new development update. This is where we get to see where the next three months take us. The Cyber team mentioned that the sim updates now will come bi-monthly where previously they were uh, out every couple of weeks. This will ensure that the builds are more stable and that the third party developers have more time to test their products with the current builds. Um, going off the new development update, some key um, dates we will see the next sim update to which will be on the 22nd of December. World Update 3, which is the UK, will be on the 26th of January. And another sim update number 3 will be on the February 23rd. And of course, this week we were treated with an updated feedback snapshot. Uh, now having the sim updates moved to bi-monthly, the Asobo team did mention that we will see a fair bit of movement when it comes to a release date estimates. Um, we may see things move from 2022 to 2021 and so forth. As they are not set in stone, they are just estimates. Teams that are working on these things will work, have things working quickly and sometimes they will have a slowdowns depending on what problems they have. So date may change. We also had another third party update from the Microsoft of Flight Simulator team. This one's really cool because you get to see some uh, stats of what's happening when it comes to third party releases. On the airport side of things, there is 214 airports that have been released on the platform so far. 27 since last week. Another 48 have been announced and an additional 118 are in production by third parties, but they are not yet announced officially. In total, 380 airports either already released or in active production just um, stunning to see the amount of enthusiasm when it comes to productivity Wow, this is definitely a sim for the airports nine aircraft have been released with two since uh, last week which is really cool another 56 are announced plus there is another 20 unannounced so obviously a Microsoft flight simulator or the cyber team have got some inside information of, of what's coming to the sim so that leaves us overall with 85 aircraft either released or in production. Uh, when it comes to scenery types of things, there is 29 scenery add-ons that have been released. Four of them within the last week, and this is a category that is thriving. 
Speaking of third party developers, let's jump into this week's previews and releases. We have seen a bunch of new releases and previews this week, but first I'd like to thank SoFly Weather Presets Pro for sponsoring this video. Being a content creator, I'm always looking for the perfect shot, and sometimes this doesn't always happen with a live weather. And who has time to edit the weather yourself? This is where SoFly Weather Presets Pros comes in handy. Brutal blizzards, harsh hurricanes, or even crisp morning dews are available with a click of a button. Weather Presets Pro provides 40 brand new weather presets for Microsoft Flight Simulator, better than what I could create with the default built-in tools myself. Weather Preset Pro is the perfect way to try out challenging conditions in any part of the world. You can quickly jump between gusty winds or zero visibility approaches to test your landing skills. A 20 page manual covering all the variations and the introduction to METARS is included and I found it very useful in addition to learn what you're about to get yourself into. SoFly Weather Preset Pro is available now for Microsoft Flight Simulator and you can pick your copy up over at direct at the Orbex store. I will leave a link in the description below and I would like to thank SoFly Weather Presets Pro for sponsoring this video. First preview here for the week which comes from the team at Area 77 Simulations this week announced that Maya Airport for the new flight sim. This airport is located in northern Portugal close to the big city of Porto. Some features that will be included is control tower interior models, PBR texturing, hangars with animations and the presence of people according to the time of day. No ETA on price at this stage other than the screenshots and the small information we have so far. Galio Simulations Preview St. Johnhan Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully I said that one correctly, but this small airport is in itself deep within the Alps located near Salzburg and Innsbruck. No ETA on when this will be released, but from the high detail screenshots it should be soon. Sierra Sim Simulations announces Augusto Sandino Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This airport supports a bunch of different airliners including Copa Airlines that frequently routes trips to Miami, Havana and Panama. City. No ETA on release dates, but we'll keep you posted on uh, this one. Moving on to releases, Central Sim releases Rafael Hernandez Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This airport is located in Puerto Rico and is the second busiest airport in the country. Features include PBR texturing, airport objects and optimized for good performance. As you can see the feature list is quite small um, but you can pick up your copy of this airport over at the Sim Market store. I'll leave a link in the description below. UK 2000 this week releases Inverness Airport for the new sim. Inverness Airport is found in the Scottish Highlands and is a very beautiful part of the world. The airport is packed full of features including full detail of the buildings, realistic ground markings, replacement of the Microsoft Flight Simulator Airport base image, uh, UK runway markings, custom HC HS vehicles, a full set of signs, airliner static aircraft which can be optional, GA static aircraft and PBR materials. You can pick up your copy of the Inverness Airport directly from the UK store, a link in the description below. As we announced this last week, Orbex now has released the Malmo Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This airport has been designed with the highest of standards in mind with the ultra detailed 4K texturing, the slope runways and ground textures that change depending on the weather. You can pick up your copy of Malmo direct from the Orbex store, I'll leave a link in the description below. This week we got to see a couple of new aircraft hitting the sim, which is really exciting. The first one being from Wing 42, this week releases its first aircraft for the new sim. Wing 42 is known for its Lockheed Vega aircraft add-on over at Prepared and now has brought its iconic Bolero aircraft to the new sim. Some of the features include high fidelity 3D models, state-of-the-art high resolution PBR textures, custom animations for all moving parts. Included are the seven cylinder and the nine cylinder piston engine variants, two custom sound sets for both engine variants, comes with 11 distinct liveries, documentation consisting of on a 20 page manual and a bonus 39 page ebook about the history of uh, this great flying machine uh, written by uh, Tom Harnish. You can pick up your copy of the Blaria over at the Wing 42 store, a link in the description below. 
The second aircraft that was released this week, which was a, a military jet, funny enough, from the team at Informatic uh, that releases the Eurofighter Typhoon for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The Eurofighter is the most successful and capable multi-role aircraft in service with the British, Spanish, Italian and German Air Forces. Some of the features that are included in the product is accurate 3D model. A top speed is uh, Mark 0.95. This is due to the simu simulation's limitations. Uh, 10,500 horsepower full throttle. Uh, also has a GPS mouse interactive panel, FMC, FMC panel, HUD uh, panel, and also two MFD panels, which can have things like terrain engine systems and fuel plans and things like that, such as that. P PFD panel, a working autopilot, and also a reverse throttle. You can pick up your copy of the Eurofighter directly from the Sim Market Store, a link in the description below. Before you rush off to your next video, if you like this one, please smash that blue thumbs up button as it really helps out the video. And if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator development news and insights, please click that subscribe button. Remember to let us know in the comments below what's your first flight you are planning to have or you already have done in the new uh, United States update. The next update from the Microsoft Flight Simulator team will be on the 3rd of December and we are expecting to see uh, a lot of news around the SDK update and of course we will keep you updated with all the latest Flight Simulator news and developments, releases and updates. I'm going to leave you with one of my other favorite uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator videos here. Uh, why don't you check that one out and I will see you over there.